Hi, my name's Sean Avram and I'm a face and body painter from Canada. I live now in Vermont with my beautiful wife, Jana. And uh, yeah, I started off as a magician. I got into doing birthday parties. Birthday parties led to doing balloons. And then uh, that eventually came to the point where I was uh, asked to do some face painting. When that happened, I started painting uh, some very basic things. I really fell in love with the art. And a couple of years later, I had the privilege of walking around the corner at Transworld, a big convention in Chicago. And I saw the Wolf Brothers booth at, the same, at that time. It's the first time I saw Nick and Brian. That art changed my life. After that, I found uh, Face Painting International magazine. I didn't even know that magazine had existed, and it wasn't even in print anymore. I uh, bought every single, uh, every single issue that I could find, and I just kept working away at it. I've been in love with this industry ever since, and I've been working hard to try to bring some new art here and there. So a lot of times when people ask me about my style, I, uh, I have a hard time answering it because I have a passion for every kind of art that I, I see. I try to do it all. Uh, sometimes uh, that leads to a very diverse portfolio, but a lot of times it's kind of hard for uh, people to put their thumb on it. People know me for uh, scary designs, I think just because I really like that kind of comic book, um, horror kind of genre, but I'm also a huge fan of color and line work. So I try to do a lot of uh, illustrative pieces as well, and uh, I just like making people look cool. So. That's what it is. You gotta check out my website and check out these uh, videos too. I shouldn't say my website. I promote you guys. Oh, I can. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you gotta check out my portfolio, and uh, it'll speak for itself because I'll go from a full body, colorful, flowery piece to an illustrative piece of a of a skull in a carnival in the same page. So I try to do it all. I hope to do it all. One day, maybe I will. I find my inspiration. I started off probably my biggest inspiration was uh, comic books. That was always my favorite kind of art. Um, comic books and like Dungeons and Dragons fantasy kind of art. But um, And then movies. I also go to movies and take a look at some of the cool makeup there. But I found recently that, or not so recently, but in the last couple of years, I've really been into nature. And it's been a, a quest of mine to kind of go around and photograph as many source photos as I can whenever I see like a cool flower in the blend and the colors there. Or, I see a squid or an octopus in an aquarium for the first time. I always try to take a picture and bring it home with me. And uh, it's nature's figured out so many cool things. And uh, that's usually where I get a lot of my color ideas and, and thoughts for it. Keep trying. Don't believe that you can't do it. So many times when I'm teaching other people at workshops, that's the number one thing that I hear. People throw their brushes up in frustration and say, there's no way that I can paint like this. But I couldn't paint like this either when I started off, and I'm even afraid to take a look at my earliest work. But uh, you have to sometimes and appreciate your journey. You have to remember that this is a journey. You don't just start off one day. Even if you're a fantastic painter, like a toll painter or um, watercolors on canvas, face painting and body painting is a totally different art form, and it takes some practice to get there. So don't lose heart. Keep at it, because the more you do it and the more you complete, the better you're going to be at it. 